Hello, and welcome to my channel, where I mostly share my love of fragrance and enjoying my collection. In this video, I will be reviewing some new fragrances from the brand Le Monde Gourmand, which I purchased at Urban Outfitters. Thank you so much for stopping by, and let's get started! So I have some new scents that I purchased from the brand Le Monde Gourmand, which is a perfume line that sold online and at Urban Outfitters. I have a previous video where I reviewed many of the Le Monde Gourmand fragrances if you're interested in checking that out. These are really affordable perfumes, usually $18 to $20 if you buy them full price, and there's also sometimes sales where you can get a percentage off of that as well. In this video, I have two brand new scents that they recently launched, as well as a couple of older scents that are new to me. So first up is one of the new scents, and this is Paradis Tropique. And this has notes of Blood Orange, Muguet, which is Lily of the Valley, Tiara Flower, and Creamy Sandalwood. And this comes in the standard Le Monde Gourmand packaging. There are typically one ounce bottles in this kind of a plain minimalistic packaging. And it, this one happens to have a kind of a brown liquid. And this is a really sweet, soft floral scent. And the florals do smell a bit tropical, which the name would imply. And the sandalwood in the scent is creating a very warm, woody base underneath those florals. And it also smells a little bit spicy, actually. And it, it's kind of hard to describe, but it's like a cross between brown sugar and cinnamon. So it's sweet and spicy at the same time. And there also seems to be a really creamy vanilla sweetness in the scent, even though vanilla isn't specifically called out in the notes, there definitely seems to be a vanilla note here. And I think overall, this is a really pretty scent. You definitely have to like sweet perfumes, but if you enjoy, you know, very vanilla heavy, sweet floral scents, then this is definitely one that you might wanna check out. And the other new scent is Punch O' Fruits. And this has notes of dragon fruit, jasmine petals, and crisp amber, and comes in the same packaging only with a pink liquid. And this is instantly a very fruity upon first spray, and the fruit is slightly candy-like, and smells almost like fruit punch, which makes sense since <laughs> the name is basically fruit punch in French. And the jasmine brings in some soft florals, but it does feel a bit overwhelmed by the fruitiness. It's a really bright and pleasant scent. And as it starts to dry, you get a warm, kind of sweet, resinous quality from the amber. And it starts to become a nice, sweet, fruity scent with that warm amber base and just a hint of florals. I think overall, it's a really nice scent, um, but you definitely have to be looking for a fruity scent because that is the standout note here. And it does take a little while for some of those other notes like the florals and the amber to really come in. But overall, I do enjoy this one. And next up is Miel Bebe, and this is not a new scent, but it's new to my collection. And this has notes of Juicy Mandarin, Honey Blossom, Sandalwood, and Praline. And it comes in the same packaging, but with a pale yellow juice. And this is very floral. I'm getting some of the Mandarin initially, but it also has kind of a tropical fruitiness to it that smells a bit sharp. And it also smells warm and woody from that sandalwood. And out of all of the scents in this video, it's definitely the most unisex. I'm not getting the praline specifically, but there is an overall sweetness to the scent, but just know that it's not a sugary or vanilla type of sweetness. It's definitely a honey sweetness. And the name actually in English is Honey Baby, and I feel like that's very accurate um, because this scent is very much a honeyed floral with a warm woody base. I do happen to like honey scents, um, definitely like the Jean-Paul Gaultier Scandal line, but I think that this is less sweet than a lot of those and less fruity. So you just have to be looking for something that's floral, but has that nice uh, honey sweetness to it as well. And the last scent I have is Sal Ocean, and this means ocean salt. And this has notes of honeysuckle, muguet, which is lily of the valley, and pink sea salt. And this is actually a hair and body mist because the perfume doesn't seem to be available anymore, but I do know that they used to have it in that same one ounce bottle. And this comes in a taller 3.4 ounce bottle with a pale blue juice. And this to me smells very clean and fresh, and it definitely has that ocean air feeling. And I, I'm sensing a little bit of that salt in there, but it's not overly salty to me, which I'm happy about. <laughs> 
and you're definitely getting that sweet honeysuckle floral um, which happens to be a note that I really enjoy and overall to me it's just a really fresh light floral scent and it just smells very clean very airy and, and it does you know make you feel like you're out on the beach smelling the ocean air and I think it's really pretty and the floral gives it a little bit of a nice touch instead of you know just a straight fresh kind of clean scent and I feel like the projection is maybe a little bit lighter than the Eau de Parfums, which is to be expected since this is a body mist. And they do give you more quantity to kind of compensate for that. And this is also priced a little bit differently than the Eau de Parfums. This one was $24 instead of, you know, $18 to $20. So just keep that in mind. So to recap, I really do like Paradise Tropique. It's a very sweet, vanillic, uh, tropical floral scent, and it's my favorite of this batch. And I also think that Punch O' Fruits is a nice, warm, fruity amber scent, really pleasant, kind of middle of the pack for me. And Miel Bebe is also nice, but it is a little more floral than I wanted. Um, the honey note is definitely strong, but I was hoping the overall scent was a little sweeter and more feminine. So I do like it, but it's not my my favorite out of the the group and Cell Ocean is really different from the rest of them it's a nice clean fresh scent that I do enjoy and overall I really think this was a great batch I definitely recommend trying some Le Monde Gourmand scents if you haven't been able to yet thank you so much for watching I hope that you'll subscribe and I will see you all in my next video